Rolls off three pointer. Bang! Drive by Myers. It's good. Myers drops in for him. Puts the Spartans up. Sparks coast to coast. Lays it in. That's good. The other beauty cars on Spartans, 7-0 on the season, take on the Greenfield, Greenfield Central Cougars, who are 4-3 on the season. I'm Nathan Shaw, joined by Ron Wiley. Ron, it's a pleasure to have you, as always. What an amazing matchup we're expecting tonight. Oh, it's an amazing matchup. Anytime we play Greenfield Central, a former uh, sectional opponent and uh, very familiar foe with the Spartans. Familiar foe with the Spartans, who ended up beating Carnesville on their home floor, on Spartans' home floor, two years ago. Uh, when the Spartans start out the season 7-0, so we pray that history doesn't repeat itself this year. I hope not either. Definitely don't want to repeat history. For sure, you definitely don't want to repeat itself. But Ron, we take a look. We interviewed Coach Brown pregame. Talk about that a little bit before we send it to him. Yeah, you know, Coach uh, Kerry Brown, we didn't talk about this. You'll see that he has a sling on. He had a pacemaker put in. So uh, he's uh, here on the floor tonight uh, coaching the Spartans. Uh, but, uh, you know, good interview. Kerry is always, uh, you know, uh, very humble. Uh, as you'll see here in the interview. Coach, a, uh, not a conference opponent, but a familiar foe in tonight's Greenfield Central team. Yeah, someone that we were in the same sectional with for years and then um, had played him on our regular season schedule since I've been here at least. So uh, someone we're very familiar with, and they're also very familiar with us. The rankings came out. I'm sure it was talk around uh, the school, uh, around your office. Where were you at when you heard the news that Connors was ranked number one in 3A? I was in my basketball office here about 4 o'clock. Um, I think someone sent me a text, and uh, that's when I discovered it. Um, it is what it is. Some of those people have no idea what we look like or what some of the other teams look like to do the voting. Uh, the important thing is not who's number one right now, but who's number one at the end of the season. How did Du Bois react to the news when they found out? Um, I really don't know because I wasn't at school today. Um, I had a little bit of a, uh, a surgery, so uh, I came down here about 4 o'clock, um, but I was, was not in school. And when I saw him in the locker room, to be honest with you, I never said a word to him because it's just not something that we have to discuss. It is Same. what it is. If we don't stay, if, if, if they let it go to their head and, and they're not humble, um, we'll get... Um, what we have coming to is if we don't stay humble. Tonight, you go for victory number 200 as a Connorsville Spartan coach. What, is that, what does this mean to you? That means I've had a lot of good players and pretty much our staff has stayed intact the entire time I've been here. And that continuity, I think, has, has helped us be successful. We've had kids that have bought in and we've had good players and good parents too. Going into the break, how do you, uh, how would you analyze the kids so far seven games in? Uh, we have a lot of improvement to do still. I mean, everybody sees the record 7-0, and but individual possessions, you know, is what we look at. Um, we, we have a lot of room for growth on this team on both sides of the basketball. So, um, you know, we're, we're by far where we want to be by the end of the season. 1% better every game? If we get 1% better in practice every day, then we'll be pretty good by the end of the year. Coach, well, who's, who do you got in that lineup tonight? Uh, we're going to start the same people. We have been Toby Billups and Josh Williams at the guard, Gage Brown in the middle, and uh, Lucas Barron and Caleb Sparks at the forward spots. Good luck tonight, Coach. Thank you. This is the Union Saving Loan, Carswell's hometown bank since 1892. Sport and pregame show. Brought to you by Union Saving Loan, of course. Ron, you guys talked about how the season isn't the result that they want as of now. They, they're not where they want to be as a team. We'll talk about that a little bit. Well, you know, where they want to be is they want to obviously improve each and every game. They want to clean up the mistakes and get better from the mistakes and not make the same mistakes. That as, that's which, as a coach, you want to see improvement in all areas and all aspects of, of, the, of the game, not just the little aspects. Obviously, we didn't get into this, but I've talked to Coach enough that, you know, the defense, he's very successful or very happy with the defense, a very good defense. However, still needs improvement on that area, too, and that's their best part. 
You have plenty of room for improvement for this team. Uh, you notice the shooting, they're a 31% three-point shooting team. Yeah, that's a little down than last yeah, year, obviously. Last year they had about 38%. You look at Greenfield Central Cougars, who are a 43% shooting team, uh, which is really impressive for a high school team. And you got to look at the Carnival Spartans, usually up there in numbers when it comes to threes, and usually a heavy three-point shooting team. But this year they've scored a lot inside, and you got to look at this team. They've been inside, they've been inside the paint threat. They've been in, in the paint a lot this year. I mean, that's something that we've talked about off off uh, air is how well that they've been, you know, Toby and Josh, the play of the guards, been able to get into the paint to draw the bigs in and to the easy dishes uh, that uh, Josh or, or Toby have to their big guys inside. And I mean, Braxton, he, we've talked about this many times. He's had Buku point, probably 80% of his points have been off the glass, just a kiss off the glass. Yeah, Braxton Myers, really solid player for the Spartans, averaging 5.4 points per game, 3.2 rebounds per game, one of the top rebounders on the team, top four, yeah. doing amazing this season, especially coming off a of meniscus tear earlier in the summer. Yeah, I talked to him before the game about that, and, and you know, and, and I encouraged him because, you know, I, I broke my, my knee uh, back when I was 20. I was a little older than he was, and, you know, at 50, I'm feeling it because I was tough, and you know, take that thing off my leg and I'm going to go do my thing. And I told him, I said, you know, you don't want to get 50 and not be able to walk. I said, just, you know, and, and he respects it. He respects that injury and he's taking care of himself much wiser than I was at that age. You know, he's a, he's a good kid. Josh Williams, another junior, has been showing out the season as well as Lucas Barron, both putting up respective numbers. Uh, we also have a big three in the starting lineup between Barron, Phillips and Williams all putting up huge numbers, around 10 points per game for all of them. Phillips with 12, Barron with 12.2, and Williams with 9, all putting up amazing numbers for the Spartans. You know, and what's amazing about those three, you talk about the the the, the, the three-headed monster of those three right there is is the catalyst, of course, is Toby Billups, the, the general. Uh, he is one of those players that really makes everyone around him very, very good. Lucas and Josh are the recipients of that, as is everyone else. You know, another guy that don't, doesn't get talked about enough because he's not known in the threes like he did last year, and that's Caleb Sparks. But against Richmond, he lit it up. But I think he did even better defensively than yeah, he did yeah, he offensively. Night, oh, yeah. Six deflections, he said. Yeah, I mean, he, he, his defense... It may be, you know, Andrew Stein back in the day, uh, you know, he was the mini Gary Payton, you know, the glove. He was a stickler. I mean, that dude was an incredible defensive player. But Caleb is, he, he might be a little bit better. Uh, and he is just, you know, again, his offense, he was known for his threes last year. He's down a little bit this year. But my goodness, his defense is incredible. Well, we still have the Greenfield Central Cougars on the floor. Let's take a look at their starting lineup. Man, they're looking scary. Two players averaging 14 and 16, Dylan Moles and Brian Mullins, that is. Adam Lester at the forward spot, Joey Rowland at the forward, others forward spot, and Rob Jones at the center. All amazing players, all put up respective numbers. About 30 points combined for them. Well, over that, 40 points combined for that starting in five. And, and uh, you know, those are impressive numbers, but I would almost guarantee that they haven't played a defense like they're going to see tonight yeah, against sure. the counters with Spartans. And for the Spartans, let's take a look at their starting lineup. Yeah, you know, of course, it, it starts always with Toby Billups. Uh, Toby's a uh, 5'11 senior, number 12. You see on your screen, Caleb Sparks, or uh, Josh Williams is the other guard. Uh, he is a 6'3 uh, junior. It looks like he's grown a little bit, or maybe I got my numbers wrong, <laughs> but uh, he actually does seem like he's gotten bigger. So those two are the engines that get this, this uh, train rolling. Then you got Lucas, of course, and Caleb at the forward spots. Caleb is a 6'4 uh, uh, senior, and uh, Lucas is a 6'4 junior. And then right down the big guy in the middle is uh, Gage Brown. He's a 6'6 senior, number 44. And, you know, we're seeing development of him as well. And, and uh, you know, his presence inside, his defense, you know, he doesn't get that much uh, credit playing defense. Gage Brown does, uh, but uh, he sure needs to get recognized. He is a defensive stalwart. For the Spartans, he clogs up that middle big time. One of the interesting storylines of the night: Spartans, a number one in the class three A. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, and that's again the humbleness of Kerry. You know, he didn't mention it to the boys, they, and and when I talked to the boys before the game over there in the arena when the girl uh, the JV game was going on, none of them really brought it up. It was like, okay, you know, the, the only time, the only other two times that the Spartans have been ranked number one 
because at the end of the 72 and 83 season, when yes. it counted, you know, ask Purdue how long, you know, what number one means to them. They weren't number one that long. And again, this year in college basketball, we've been, you know, having a, you know, a, you know all kinds of teams at the number one spot. It doesn't matter now. It's nice to be recognized. No, and as sure. a fan, as a fan, I'm excited to know that these kids are number one. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we don't go all the way and and be number one at the end of the season. You know, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's nice to say, hey, we were ranked number one at one time. But did you do you have the banner up there? That's all that yeah. matters. The banner is the end goal, and I'm sure the Spartans aren't thinking ahead of that as of now. They're looking ahead to this game. And then after that, the tournament on Thursday, we yeah. will play Bloomington South and multiple teams. And then the tournament, the Hall of Fame Classic Tournament, oh, that, which is going to be exciting. Th you, you talk about excited. That is probably the definition of excitement. That game, when you have Westfield, who beat Mishawaka Marion, of course, Westfield is ranked in the top 10 of 4A. And you got Cathedral and Homestead. They're 2 and 3 in 4A. I mean, we, we have a tough schedule. We And then, of course, we play in February. We play Lawrence North, who's, you know, top five, four A. So we're going to be playing some, you know, this could definitely pay off dividends. We'll see how tough we are after this ball game. The Spartans undefeated so far in the season, which is quite incredible. Coming off of insane burst in the second quarter, or third quarter, even the first, fourth quarter. They've been a third quarter and second quarter team heavily this season. They tend to slow it down a little bit more in the fourth, but we see they put up insane numbers in that second half. Well, you know what was incredible about the Richmond game, what I really loved about the Richmond game was uh, their, how good their defense was and how they really uh, took any momentum that Richmond may have had. They took it away, and it just seemed like towards the end of that game, we were kind of, it was like a cat playing with a mouse. We were we were disrupting there. You know, we had, I don't know how many steals in the fourth quarter, but there was a lot of steals in the fourth quarter. And, uh, you know, absolutely uh, impressive victories over the weekend against a conference foe in South Dearborn, who's a good, good team. We're going to probably see them. We could see them as sectionals on this floor again. And then, of course, always nice to beat Richmond. Always nice to meet Richmond. Yeah, it's always nice to beat Richmond. And a 52 to 37 win that was. Sparks and Barron leading the way with 15 to 12 apiece. Barron and Sparks combining for 27 in total. And yeah. that's what put them at the top of the rankings. Yeah, you know, I, again, the 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 starters, the, the depth of this bench, this talent, how far we went last year. You know, we only lost uh, two players, you know, Jonah and Cole. Of course, I'm just looking at them right now. They're they're here watching this team. Talk to them a little bit uh, between uh, the, the four, well, halftime at Richmond. Uh, they would love to be on this floor, you know, with this team. Uh, they left their mark uh, as uh, Spartans. And, uh, you know, it, this is a special, special team. But, again, it's, it's, it's we have to focus. We have to focus on this game. And then after this game, we got to focus on the next game. Let's not get too ahead. Let's not get too carried away with the rankings. Although it's easy. It's, to, nice, to, look at, it's yeah. nice to talk about. You know, it's a sound bite. And you look at the South Dearborn game this uh, this previous Friday. Spartans won against South Dearborn in a tough fourth quarter, tough second half. Uh, struggled a lot there in that second half. Played pretty solid in the first. Couldn't make a lot of shots, but they were able to put up enough numbers to hold them to about. 10 or 4, I believe. They, they were the low scoring column, and the Spartans had about 20 or so. And uh, traveling with the team at that moment, you, you could tell there was a lot of frustration in the locker room. They, they weren't excited about how sloppy the win was. But it is nice to get a conference win. And last year when they beat them in sectionals, it was, also, it was also a sloppy win. It was a tough win. It wasn't easy. And you could see that a lot in that South Dearborn game this year. And history repeated itself. Well, you know, that, that last year's game, that sectional game last year, that was... Um, you know, a victory that uh, we definitely snatched out of the jaws of defeat uh, because we were we were down. Uh, but I will say without question that um, this team needs those types of victories. Pendleton against uh, Pendleton Heights, where we you know we played kind of sloppy and then went on a 16 to 18 0 run uh, and, and really pulled it away. You know, we battled with some sickness. Um, but right now, it's just a matter of we have to get uh, focused on one game at a time. Yeah, one game at a time is how you want to take it. And the Spartans are definitely looking at that as the season goes on. Uh, you look at 
everything they've done so far this season, I mean, the record goes to show how good of a team they can be, but you don't want to pay attention to the numbers. Well, you, what, what, what I'm impressed with is that there has been times when they've played not well. Yes. And they've not panicked. Um, you know, we didn't see their best basketball uh, for stretches against South Dearborn. We didn't see their best basketball against Pendleton Heights. Um, I'm not sure if we have seen their best basketball yet, but what we have seen is very, very good. But again, as Kerry said, you just need to improve 1% each game, and you're going to be very good when it matters, and that's at sectional time. I would say the closest thing we've seen to perfection for the Spartans has been the Shelbyville. It's been the early stages of the season when they were fresh in the season. Yeah. That might have been the Shelbyville game. That might have been the closest thing we've seen to perfection. And obviously, things are going to get sloppier the more games you have. But once you have that break heading into the postseason, that about two-week, one-week break, that's when things start cleaning up. That's when you start nitpicking at every little detail because you always don't have time for that in the regular season. You have games every, every twice every week or once every week. You have a game once a week at least, and you don't have a lot of time to clean up every little detail. You have time to clean up one thing at a time. Right. Be free throws. Well, free throws are a big thing that really – can haunt a team with bad free throws. We really, I mean, 69% is not very good. We need to, I would I would feel comfortable in the mid-70s, you know, obviously early 80s. Yeah, and uh, you look at the 72% free throw shooting team for the Cougars, they've played well, or they've shot solid from the free throw line, but the one thing you gotta look at when we've been going to the free throw line is a lot of our guys that have been going to the line, to the charity stripe, have been our bigs. Barron's going yeah. to the line, he's cleaned up a lot. He's only missed about three free throws the past couple of nights in total. Sparks hasn't gotten the line that much, I'm sure, and he's one of our best free throw shooters. Williams doesn't go to the line that much, and he's shooting 25% on three, so are from free throw range. So he's a one for four on the season from there. Yeah, Myers, yeah. another one of those guys. Yeah, you know, again, we we've had. I think we may hold the state record for free throws in a game. I am very close. Um, so you know, again. There's a lot to work on, um, but boy, I tell you what, uh, there's many teams out there that would love to have what the Connors with Spurs need to work on. Yeah, very, very, I would definitely love to have, again, I would definitely love to have the, the type of mistakes that the Spartans make if I were any team. You know, again, this is a team. Well, this has been the Union Savings Loan pregame show brought to you by Union Savings Loan, Carnesville's hometown bank since 1892. I'm Nathan Shaw, Ron Wiley joining me by my side. We're going to be right back after we hear from some from the starting lineups and the national anthem. We'll be right back after this short minute break. Union Savings and Loan is an old school community bank founded in Connersville in 1892 and still locally owned and operated today. Union Savings and Loan offers hometown service with great rates on CDs and deposit accounts and local loan approvals when you need financing. They also have a trust department. And with two locations in town, downtown at 730 Central Avenue and uptown at 500 West 30th Street, Union Savings and Loan is truly Connorsville's hometown bank. Union Savings and Loan, people you know, neighbors you trust. Financial investments are important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. That's why Edward Jones is a proud sponsor of Connorsville Spartan Sports. Contact your local Edward Jones financial advisors, Gina Hartman, Devin Hornsby, and Gary Reebsummer for your investment needs. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Number 32, Dallas Freeman. Number 33, Brayden Robertson. And number 21, Bryce Henneman. Starting lineup for the Cougars. At forward, number 10, Joey Rawlin. At forward, number 23, Adam Luster. At guard, number 3, Dylan Knowles. At guard, number 24, Braylon Mullins, and forward number 30, Britton Carpenter Jones. Greenville Central coach by Mr. Luke Meredith.
your Connors Bulls are here. Ring number 20, Jeremy Jurgensen. Number 22, Luke Salamardo. Number 23, Blaine Hornsby. Number 32, Marston Myers. Number 33, Carter Lottowell. Number 42, James Williams. And number 14, Cody Naylor. Starting lineup for the Spartans. At forward, the 6'4 senior, number 30, Jalen Sparks. At forward, the 6'4 junior, number 34, Lucas Perez. At center, the 6'6 senior, number 44, Dave Brown. At guard, the 6'3 junior, number 24, Josh Williams. And guard, the final 11 senior, number 12, Tony Bella. Huntersville coached by Mr. Barry Brown. The national anthem will not be played as we played it at the first game here this evening. Officials for tonight's game, Kevin Brown, Michael Eason. Thank you, Sean and Ron Wiley, joining you guys today live, or sorry, here today during the Carswell Spartans boys basketball game against Greenfield Central Cougars. You get ready as we watch tip off between Barron and Greenfield Central. As Greenfield Central wins the tip off, Malls will have the ball. Yeah, that was Joey Rowland. They got the jump for Greenfield Central. Looks like we have a little bit of the height advantage. Let's see if we can take advantage of that height. This is a turn on run. Greenfield Central almost takes out a cheerleader there. She can fight for the ball and he put her out in the court. Yeah, you know, got to make them pay on these turnovers. Got to score right here to set a tone. Pass to Williams. As far as in their own territory. So able to make it their way up the court as Barron goes inside. Beautiful. Lays it up one hand, and there we go. Drops in first points on the board for Barron. You know, and I'm not sure the Greenfield Central defender realized that he was going to go all the way. And, you know, that's the confidence and the maturity of Lucas Barron. He saw that lane, and he took it all the way. Balls with the ball guarded by Sparks. Yeah, the maturity there by Barron. I mean, he saw, you could see the confidence there as he took it in inside the paint and just found himself an open lane as Moles. Goes inside, able to get it up, but no good, though. Yeah, I think Moles got a little too fancy on that. That cost him. Sparks able to recover the ball as it looks like it may be tipped there by Greenfield Central. Moles. Yeah, just not good ball handling there from the Spartans. Fortunately, it uh, went out on Greenfield Central. Spartans need to slow it down and handle the ball a little bit better. Phillips, top of the key, is not quite open for a minute. Swings into the corner. Sparks off balance, able to get it to Brown. A very slow, very patient offense. Bulbs really loses it. A very slow and very patient right now. You can tell they're working their way outside, trying to get an open shot and trying to get open paint point. They're just working their way around that, as Bulbs turns it over. Yeah, that's not very good. Yeah, Bulbs drew the charge against Moles. Bills, one of the best takers of the charge. Yeah, that was that was just incredible right there from Toby Billups. You knew that he was going to at least set up to take the charge, and he got the call. Again, made up for that bad pass Toby Billups did right there. Billups, bounce pass to Beautiful. Baron. Baron inside. Get Baron for the night. You know, this is the team right here, the vision, knowing where your player is at all time, where your teammate is at all time, paid dividends right there for the Spartans. You love Billups being Billups able to recover off his missed pass or the turnover, just a possession to go. Well, back, recover with the bounce pass to Ben. Yeah, and, and that's that's what you're going to see from Toby Billups. You're going to see 
you know, I, I don't know why we didn't get that rebound, but Toby Billups is uh, not going to let anything keep him from performing at a high level. Williams able to snag it up, the leading rebounder for the Spartans inside the Brown. Brown with patience gets the travel though. Yeah, yeah, that that he he's shocked that he got called on that, but that clearly was a travel. And, you know, again, a couple early mistakes for the Spartans. They have not cost them, but you definitely want to clean up those little mistakes. Those are the little things that Kerry talks about sometimes. You know, we're a fast team, but sometimes we play maybe a little too fast. Well, of downtown, he swishes it. There's rolling on the shot. Yeah, just like that now, it's a one-point game. You always had to give up easy three-pointers because that can change the pace of the game at any point in time. Oh, there's no question about that. that that's, you know, that's a, that's not a good pass. That's two bad passes from Toby. Two turnovers from Phillips. Yeah, Phillips just, just throws it over his head a little bit too far. Yeah, just got to slow down just a little bit, and they will. Greenfield Central's possession. Lester bounce pass to Moles. Lester sets the screen. Rolling now with it. It's Carpenter Jones swings it out to Lester. Carpenter Jones pulls oh, up wow, he got inside. That. He gets the shot to go in for him. Yeah, that, uh, you know, kiss off the, the bank was open for him. Again, 5 4 now, got to clean it up. Sparks. You know, Greenfoot Central could care less with the Spartans are ranked. Again, that's not Harper good. Jones on the break. He lays it up. That's good. They go on a 7 0 run. Yeah, Spartans just not handling the ball very well. Too many turnovers. Williams now with it. Too many turnovers to right, Ron, and. It's going to be a foul on 10. Rolling. Yeah, I didn't see what happened there, but the guy in stripes did. Myers and Saul Barger check in for Brown and Sparks. Williams will get ready to inbound. Williams deep pass to Saul Barger. Not the lick on the pass you want to get, but they'll take it when they can get it. If that's the only one you got, it's the only one you got. You know, now yeah. you just got to reset right here. Spartans do. Myers. A three would be nice as the Cougars are in a zone. Somebody hesitant inside the Myers. Picked Another off by bad pass. Central. He, I thought he walked. Not sure why there was not a call. It's a ball. Spartans it's ball. ball. Yeah, it's either, I thought it was either a hell ball or a walk. It looked like he didn't. Didn't nobody look like they had control of that, but Spartans will take the ball. Now, you know, it's just time to just relax. They put plenty of time in this quarter, in this ball game. This situation down three with three minutes to go. You just got to relax, keep it patient, and just look, and look to get those opportunities you can. And obviously, we're looking to get those opportunities, but yeah. it's a matter of patience at this point. Yeah, you're absolutely right, and just, you know, again, making good passes. Phillips. As the faithful is trying to get Williams the guys fired up. the suburbs, the cars are no good. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that was absolutely. Yeah, I mean, that right there is is why we're glad Josh Williams is on this team. And, you know, we've seen that from a lot of the players from the Spartans. They go after and try to rip the ball out of the player's oh, hand. And it's got oh, beautiful. Inside, six for the Ends the 7-0 run against the Spartans. They would have put up two there. Well, I tell you what, end of that, end of that streak right there was, was Josh Williams' hustle. And then, of course, you know, got it to Lucas coming in. He's got all six of our points. Harper and Jones. He yeah, foul on Myers. Yeah, Myers has, has a foul right there. So it was a blocking foul. That's Kirkhoff. 
and Street will step in for the Cougars. Inbound. Wallace. Hard to the ball. inside. Again, good defense from Braxton to force that bad shot. He was close, but you know that was that was just good defense by the read, Braxton. And the read on the glass by Barron to snag up the board is great as well. Yeah, our guy, you know, again, got to be in the right place at the right time, boxing out, being positioned. Baron deep pass there, out to the corner of his Billups. Williams with the ball now. Out to Saul Barger, Billups inside to Baron. Baron looks to get inside. He does, and one for Baron. Give him another one. Yeah. He's the Spartans to score with eight. I mean, just a very good dish inside from the general end to Lucas, again, who didn't hesitate, went right. He knew he was going to get hacked. And he still went up there and Got the kiss off the glass. Bear on the free throw, no good. Doesn't get the and one opportunity, or doesn't convert on the and one. Yeah, you got to follow your shot through that. The Spartans really snag it up there. That's Tricky pass there to Moles. This is on the ground as Moles fades away. That goes in for him. That was a nice shot. Carter's in for the Spartans. I, I thought he was going to take it in there for a second. Carter take it from the downtown. Phillips has a, looking for the chance to score here. He goes out wide to Bodwell. Bodwell in the corner swings it back to Sollenbarger. Yeah, this is a good defense from Greenfield Central. Barron inside, lays it up. There we go. Give it ten. Yeah, it's all Lucas Barron tonight. You know, and he's getting some good feeds inside from his guards and. You're going to feed that guy. He's going to take it every time, and he's always going to be hungry. It's a Baron kind of night. Yeah. From downtown, yeah, able to sink it in Baron's eyes. Mullins makes the three-pointer. We'll be right back. After the Spartans lead, or after the Spartans are down 12 to 10, Baron leading score with 10. We'll be right back after this 30 second play. The dependable service you need for your car or truck is always available at Golf's Auto Care and Tire Center in Connorsville and Brookville. Experienced mechanics are ready to correct the problem using the best replacement products that will have your vehicle running like new again. Shane Goff is waiting to serve you at 600 Western Avenue in Connorsville, phone 825-2588, and Charlie Goff in Brookville at 9197 State Road 101. 647-2222 is the phone number. Goff Auto Care and Tire Center. Spartans down 12 to 10. Bogwell, Sombarger, Sparks, Myers, and Brown will be the lineup out here. Starting with this 55 seconds to go on the clock, they look to get a tie game or lead by one with a three-point opportunity. Yeah, and the way that we've been getting inside, you know, hope you get the, the hoop and one to end this quarter. Greenfield Central would ha will have the ball. Myers last... Last Saturday, well, earlier Saturday against Richmond, had a buzzer beater in the first quarter. Yeah, he, he did. Another one of those. Oh, definitely. But, you know, these passes are just, they drive me crazy that far. Myers oh, that was a beautiful move. He gets beautiful. it inside. He gets it inside. There we go. Give Myers two. The junior showing out for his points is there at 12. You know, that head fake right there, I mean, it faked me out. I mean, it was just, it was a beautiful move there for Braxton. Again, another kiss off the glass. That's all 12 of our points have been off the glass like that. Good defense. Yeah, they did a shot off in the final seconds. Tie game it is here in the first quarter. We'll be right back after this break. Whitewater Eye Center Connorsville provides vision care for every member of your family. This includes treatment for eye diseases and injuries, just one of its many services. Services that include glasses and contacts, frames for every budget, sunglasses, and a large selection of eyewear. Complete vision care for every member of your family, yours at Eye Center of Connorsville. Scheduling an appointment for a complete eye exam is as easy as calling 825-6000. Whitewater Eye Center Connorsville, located at 2045 Virginia Avenue. Your vision is our focus. Georgia's Pharmacy and Medical Equipment welcomes you to stop by our Connorsville location at 330 East 5th Street. Georgia's is proud to offer you friendly hometown services and the convenience of free delivery. 
Also, our medical equipment staff is there to help with whatever you need. George's Floral and Gifts has that special something for any occasion. Birthdays, weddings, bereavement, or to brighten someone's day. George's Pharmacy. We are here for you. 765-825-6251. The Myers layup. Tie the game for the Spartans. And the failed possession for Greenfield Central as they were looking to get a last second shot off and not able to get it. The Spartans look to take a commanding lead, hopefully here in the second quarter as Greenfield Central has the ball. Yeah, that was just good defense there at the end of that quarter from Gage and Carter. Yeah, and we'll switch off the screen. I know that's one thing they've been working on a lot in walkthroughs. As Williams able to get to the flagship. Uh, again, Williams is, he, again, that's another kid who, you know, his defense gets overlooked uh, because we expect him to be around the glass every time and getting those easy putbacks, but his defense is incredible. Sparks at the corner. Doesn't shoot it, though, inside the brown. Not brown a good pass. turns it over. The street picks it up. Yeah, and I think Gage was a little disrupted defensively. Moles has the ball. Yeah, Griffin says we're kind of slowing it down right here. Moles back with it. Guarded by Phillips. He to drive inside, hop steps. Yeah, he took a huge hop. Moles now, the 14.9 point per game score. And downtown oh, house wow, that, doesn't drop in for him. That, see, we got out hustled there. Yeah, you know, hustle I don't know how many times that's players. happened this year where we've gotten out hustled. We should have had an easy rebound. And again, we got to be aggressive at all times. I mean, this is another opportunity for them to score. And, you know, this may come down to who has the ball last the way this game's going. Mullins contested. He shoots no good. Rebound yeah, helps. And, and the boys right there went aggressively. They both about took each other out. But again, they weren't going to make that same mistake yeah. twice. You don't want to make that same mistake twice, especially after you got out hustled, like you said. And Moles, I mean, it's a great read on the glass to be able to fight on the board as Barron from downtown. He sinks it. Lucas Barron, get him anywhere and everywhere. Yeah. He'll take it. Give him every point on the board as he has 13 out of our 15. Yeah, that's just, I mean, this, he's, that's, you, know, you can't stop that kid sometimes. Watch him get the guy at the top of the key, Lucas. And... Street with the ball. The senior for the Cougars. Mullins with it. Mullins picked up by Sparks. Nice. Oh, there were Maybe a reach-in foul there. Yeah, Caleb on that. Yep. Caleb was... Yeah, Sparks. He was hoping he didn't, it didn't get seen, but it did. He was really helping there for a steal, but... Uh, you can tell he was, after coming off a hot eight steals the other night against Richmond, you oh, can yeah. tell he's looking excited tonight and looking to get more. Well, that's his game. I mean, you know, his he's game. He's a 3-D player. Yeah, yeah, he, he's, his defense is just, I mean, he, he needs to be in a video. Straight with it. Straight guarded by Sparks. Moles. Nice, nice. By the Spartans. Yeah. Yeah, again, you know, the disruption right there. That's, you know, now it's time now that things are starting to settle a little bit. Got a three point lead, got a little bit of cushion. You know, this. Sparks from downtown. He shoots off the back of the glass. Oh, that should be our ball. Watch for it. Yeah. In the lineup for Greenfield, number 30. Well, who's going to take it? I was going to say. Hey, there we go. Nobody was wanting to go out. And I, this Spartans ball. Barron with the ball now. Inside the Brown. Brown makes the first up. Brown nearly inbounds it for the Spartans. But it'll be green for the central ball as he's looking to get it off the knee. Yeah, with Buster. Yeah, Gage right there. You know, kind of threw it up and was hoping to get it off the glass a little too hard. And you know, Greenfield Central not going anywhere. As we've seen, they've got, you know, a couple of threes already tonight. And, they, and they've had guys in their face. They really haven't had a clear three. Well, 
Kirkhoff. Don Thomas Moles Phillips is able to snag it up for the Spartans. Yeah, I mean, James, you know, had, or Josh had hand in his face a little bit, but still too much room for my comfort when you're shooting a three against a team that's, what, there in the 40s, a three-point, 43%. Williams. That team that shot 43% from three, you don't want to give easy points to them, especially no. from three-point land. Is oh, Phelps beautiful. Goes to the reverse. Wow. wow. You know, he can do that almost any time he wants, I think, and, and he's done that many times this year. And, you know, you give him just a little bit of lane, he will find it and take advantage of it. Anderson swings it. His Kirkhoff has it. Anderson now. Down to Carpenter Jones. Downtown's Greenfield Central. Oh, wow. Plus that battle in is off the glass. Yeah, that was crazy. Kirkhoff able to sink the three point. Yeah, that, that, that with every part of the realm. Again, they're not going anywhere. Just when it started getting a little like our basketball up five, you know, they take that long three and make it. Phillips out to Sparks. Sparks back to Williams. Phillips tries Again. inside. He fades. No good. Gotta fall your shot. He doesn't get it. Yeah. So they left a man wide open there. That was Carpenter Jones. Yeah, it line. wasn't a good pass from Greenfield Central, and that's what saved the Spartans to not give that up. And I think that's going to be on Greenfield Central. Yeah. Looks like it would be on Moles. Or Carpenter Jones. Moles so far not scoring a lot, but averaging 17 points a game. The Spartans playing solid defense on him, trying to focus on that score. But we've noticed a lot when they focus on a score, it tends to allow other scorers to get out there and get the points off going. I mean, we've seen that with Jerron Taylor. We've seen that with, or we still have Jerron Taylor where they forced him to shoot a lot of shots, or they forced him to shoot a lot of bad shots. Yeah, and then the other kid took over, you know, so. Out to Sparks, back to Bills. Williams from the corner. He shoots, he scores. He's got such a beautiful touch, Josh does. It's just, so, I mean, it's almost Larry Bird-esque or whatever, you know, like Larry, <laughs> just the way he holds it over his head and shoots. Beautiful. That, that's that's wide, open. And wide open. Oh, wow. <laughs> How good as he makes to get off the bank. They've had a few of those that seem like they went down and came back out. Sparks. Swings it to Myers. Williams pump fakes it. Phelps. Williams deep ball. Sparks. Myers inside. Myers extends. Oh, that's Myers beautiful. Up. Wow, he finds it right inside. Oh. Yeah, again, head fake right there. That's the second time he uses head fake. Got there, bigs to jump up, but right between them, like, you know, he's. He talk to Myers. He'll say, I'm not the most flashy player, but I'm one of the most fundamental. Oh, yeah, you're, there's no question about that. I mean, he's Mr. Fundamental. I mean, that's what he is. And downtown Greenfield Central rebound Sparks as he fights his way through the board. You know, what's, what's, what's winning for the Spartans right now is getting the, the glass. They're off, you know, the defensive boards. I don't like these long passes. A lot of long passes. And Sparks from corner. Spartans is looking for another. They get it. Spartans won an insane run there to put the score up 25 to 15. Spartans lead by 10. Yeah, I mean, this is what we came to see as, you know, this good defense and, you know, this offense that you can light it up. So Good that's, ball. I thought he passed Rowan it. Rowan makes the drive. That's a nice he move. In, he does. Yeah, Roland right there did not want to get stopped. Rowan has five on the night. He's playing solid. He's one of those guys. He's the third that he scored 8.3, so he looks like he's getting going tonight. Yeah, the Spartans, you know, going to take this last second shot. They'd love to go up 11. End of the, end of the half. Spartans like to run down the clock. Like you said, you have the last second shot. It's Myers. Trapped. Looks like a call against Anderson. 
Uh, was that on Anderson? Yep, number two, yeah. Anderson. His first, he's six. Yeah, that's not many fouls. I mean, only eight fouls, six for Greenfield Central. And this is kind of, you know, this is a pretty physical game. A lot of, a lot of inside, you know, begging the bodies. Six on the clock. Williams the inbound to Sparks. Williams with the ball now. The top, way top of the key. Inside to Myers. Myers. Not very good at all. Not okay. Two the rush there on the shot as they're looking to get it there, get it off for a second. We're not able to get it. 25 to 17 is the score. We're going to take a minute break and we'll be right back. You will find the answer to your every flooring need at Foles Flooring at 301 Beach Street in Connersville. Yes, Foles Flooring has a large selection of carpet and tile, also vinyl and laminates, luxury vinyl tiles, and hardwoods. You will receive a free estimate on your choice of flooring plus expert installation. Their friendly staff will help you through the entire process. Foles Flooring also provides bathroom upgrades, remodeling, and custom shower systems. At 301 Beach Street, Connersville, 765-692-0800 is the phone number. It's events like this game that make our community such a great place in which to live, work, and play. All of us at FCN Bank applaud the CHS Spartans for their hard work and dedication. Thank you for reminding us once again why we all choose to call this place home. FCN building stronger communities, one great local event at a time. Go CHS Spartans. Good luck. FCN Bank, member FDIC. Nathan Shaw and Ron Wiley here with the halftime show. Ron, let's take a look at the scoring. Yeah, for the uh, Greenfield Central Cougars, they have one, two, three, four, five, six guys uh, in a scoring column. Uh, they are led by uh, Joey Rollins, five points. Uh, Rune Carter Jones has four. Bray Braylon Mullins has three. Tyler Cook, all three. Uh, Dylan Moles and Owen Anderson has two points. For the Counters Spartans, they have five guys in the scoring column, believe it or not. Uh, led by Lucas Barron's 13 points, four from Braxton Myers, three from Kevin Sparks, Josh Williams for three, and Toby Phillips has two for the Connorsville Spartans. One thing we got to point out here is the Spartanettes and cheerleaders gathered together as Jared McKinney and Kayla McKinney broke stood off in the cheerleaders for the Spartans. Kim O'Creech, uh, O'Creech, Cecilia Dixon, Kayla Martin, Kendall Martin, Edie Judd. Chloe Kramer, a couple of the Spartanettes. There's a lot out there to name. Yeah, they all went to Hawaii. Yeah, they all did go to Hawaii, yeah. which is beautiful. Uh, you get to go for one of your favorite sports, and now you're and you're in Hawaii. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's all that matters. You're in Hawaii. Just Hawaii. Just Hawaii. Yeah, that's Hawaii. Hawaii. I mean, I've been, I was Hawaii 30 uh, back in 1990, and uh, it's, just, it's beautiful. It still stays with me, and I, I haven't made my way back since then, but uh, someday I hope to. Maybe, maybe that's the future retirement plans, Ron. That's my retirement Maybe, maybe you'll be broadcasting games for the Hawaii, uh, Hawaii Boat, high school basketball yeah. teams or <laughs> Hawaii college teams. Oh, nothing would beat the Spartans. I don't think they have a facility quite like the Spartan Bowl, but uh, uh, but that beautiful scenery down in Hawaii is beautiful. These girls got to experience that, and, uh, you know, it's something they'll always remember. Yeah, something to remember. And so we looked at the scoring tonight for the Spartans, Joey Rowland. Well, for Greenfield Central, Joey Rowland leading the way at five for the Cougars, averaging 8.3 on the season. Spartans holding him below his average so far, but obviously there's still a half to go. Yeah, yeah, you know, and again, usually the, the top scorers on the team, um, we kind of contain, and it's always somebody else. So, you know, we, we, you know, the one thing about the Spartan defense is that, um, I, and I, I'm trying to think when the last time a team scored their team average. Um, you know, we may have a player score 22. I think uh, one of the kids from Shelbyville may have scored in the 20s or Freshville, one of the two, one of the games they had, somebody scored 20. But the teams, you know, are usually way below their average uh, as a team. And that's really what matters. Yeah, you may have got a kid who, who torches it for 20, but you know, if you lose, then it doesn't matter. Yeah, the Spartans 
shooting solid from the field uh, on the night. But rebounding has really been what stand out, stood out for the Spartans. Uh, you notice one, a couple rebounds they let go. The one Moles yeah, had in the yeah. first then that was would have been an easy cleanup on the glass. Yeah. But the Spartans, after that failure, started cleaning up and fought on the glass. Yeah, you know what the Spartans have done uh, is is they they've learned uh, from their mistakes very early on, making bad passes. Uh, they cleaned that up. Uh, a couple times it seemed like Greenfield Central out hustled us. They cleaned that up. Uh, you know, we saw where, where Toby made that bad pass, that bad decision to pass, uh, and then came down and took the charge right away. So, you know, the kids know how to put any mistakes that they make on the offensive side of the ball. They know how to turn it off when they get on defense and do what needs to be done defensively. Uh, that almost seems like it motivates them. When they realize, geez, I messed up, I got to do something. Well, we saw Josh, uh, where, you know, he had a bad pass, and then he goes and steals the ball. I mean, that was highway robbery. He went and stole the ball from the guy and got the possession back from the Spartans. That is what I love to see. This team uh, is it's just incredible how they don't let their emotions carry over to affect the other part of their game. Yeah, for a team that has six, that averages 60 points per game on the season, uh, well, nearly 60 points per game, and to hold them at 17 here in this first yeah. half. Uh, you do the quick mass, that's about th that's 13 away from where they want to be at. Yeah, it, it, and, and again, that's that's what we've seen uh, for years with Kerry Brown's uh, defense. Uh, we've seen teams come in here averaging, you know, a boatload of points and walking out of here with, you know, less than half of what they score. And that's just... I mean, it's, it's incredible and it's a privilege to watch. I mean, a privilege to watch. Yeah, the Spartans defense really at full effort here. And so is the Spartans score. We've noticed one thing they've added this year has been insane score. Yeah, you know, we have scored a lot more than we have in the years past. And this is a, this is a, I think, one of the faster teams that uh, I've, I've ever seen uh, when the Kerry Brown team. And that's because they do generate a lot of steals. And so they're, they're in the transition um, a lot more than any other team. And so it's been very impressive to see uh, their all-court vision because as soon as they steal the ball, their eyes are down the floor to see who, who's open. You know, who stole it they're looking and th and that's something that uh you know that, that that's basic fundamental basketball but you know that, that that's something you got to still in kids to you know have that all court vision and, and our guys have it as you see dave and sam have on their uh, halftime show right there yeah so we look at the spartans obviously playing amazing night but we're gonna take a quick break before we talk more about the spartans how they play for this minute break Don's Auto Sales and Tires, 126 West 2nd Street, gives you the very best deals in tires. Don's has all major brands available in stock and in all price ranges. You can rely on Don's Auto Sales and Tires in business for over 40 years. And Don's Auto Sales has a large selection of quality pre-owned vehicles in prices ranging from $1,000 to $30,000. Need new tires or a quality vehicle? Available from Don's Auto Sales and Tires, 126 West 2nd Street, Connorsville. The phone number is 825-7730. Reed Health Sports Medicine provides an athletic trainer to the Connorsville Spartans through the support of Reed Foundation. Athletic trainers normally are present at most practices and sporting events. They can respond to an injury within seconds, determine the immediate needs of the athlete, and either begin treatment or initiate emergency management within the first few minutes. If your athlete suffers a sports injury, Reed Health's athletic training clinic can provide injury treatment sessions using multiple modalities, rehab protocols, and treatment techniques to ensure your athlete doesn't miss a day without progressing forward. Learn more at ReedHealth.com. We're back as the Spartans lead 25 to 17 here at the halftime. Nathan Shaw, Ron Wiley joining me as the Spartans have to take the floor. Playing well tonight, Ron, and we look at the scoring. Lucas Barron leading the way with 13 on this for the Spartans. I mean, we could be looking at a 20 point game from Barron for the first time in his career. I, I would love to see that happen, you know, and, and, and he's the recipient of, of good guard play, you know, from the general and from uh, uh, Josh Williams, you know, getting him inside, getting those easy dishes inside where, you know, all of his points except for that three was, you know, easy shots off the glass where he only had to take maybe one or two shots. And well, no, I should say that there was one where he drove, yeah. uh, you know, from from uh, probably, you know, close to the, the three-point stripe. Uh, again, that kid is fun to watch. It's, you know, what is he going to do? But again, his play, you know, is set up a lot from the from the guard play. And, and again, that's how it should be. You know, you got to 
you got a player like like Lucas, uh, you know, and of course you got a player like Braxton and Gage and Josh Williams and you know some of the other guys deeper on the bench like Lucas. You know, you're going to get them opportunities uh, to, uh, to to get easy buckets, and that's what we've done all season long from our guard play. Yeah, and the guard the guard play has been tremendous. They're able to get. You notice this team has been an inside scoring team. A lot yeah. of the points that came in the paint. Yeah. It came from the paint. And you look at the three point percentage, 31% from three, lower than last season by 7%. And you really look at it. And it's a lot of those looks they're getting from the guards. The guards are throwing it up, throwing it up almost as a lob type uh, pass for the Spartans. But in all honesty, I mean, it's just all credit due to the guards there to get them their points. And on the fast break, too, is a lot of where the scorings came from the Spartans. We yeah. haven't seen a lot of fast break points tonight. No, no, we haven't seen many fast I breaks. Seen, I, I think we've only seen about two or one. Maybe not even any. If we have, it's very, it's very where we don't, you know, it's not something that has stood out it, it, games past. Uh, but before we go in half, we do got to give our condolences and our prayers and our thoughts to J.D. Miller. His mother passed away this morning. And so, you know, our, our thoughts and prayers are, are with his family and the loss of his mom. Uh, of course, uh, this game's a nice distraction, but uh, you, know, you know he's over there and, and wishing that his mom was was uh, here with him. And, uh, you know, so our prayers go out to J.D. Yeah, spending a lot of time with J.D. over the last couple of weeks, over this last month while filming this documentary for the team. One thing I noticed is J.D. is an outstanding person, a great coach, really loves, really loves those kids, treats them like his own, and... You can tell he has a special bond with his players, unlike many coaches. Yeah, he, he is one of those guys that, um, without question, um, is somebody that you want to be, uh, you want your kids to be mentored by. Uh, you know, he, of course, his, his son, uh, Zach, was a thousand points for here for, for, uh, for uh, Connorsville. His son, Tyler, you know, him and Tyler Billups were, you know, uh, Ty Miller uh, was, you know, three point threats. And so, you know, J.D. Uh, definitely is somebody that uh, you know, we're very blessed, and I know Kerry's very blessed to have him uh, on the coaching staff. Well, the Spartans look here to enter the second half from the coaching staff of Brown, Peterson, Bottomley, Miller, and Stu. You say Stu? Yeah, Stu's the new uh, J.V. assistant coach. Oh. So you know something? Like oh, nice. <laughs> nice. As, the as the Spartans get a three-pointer with Sparks scoring that. I like that. You know, that's that's three or two tonight from three-point range. He had four against Richmond. Starting to heat up as Caleb Sparks gets the foul. Yeah, they, they got the, they got the foul there. Yeah, and that's something that you very seldom see. I mean, he's got two right now, but you know, as aggressively as he plays defensively, he knows how to not get not get a foul call. He's not rolling. Rolling picked up by Brown. Moles. Oh, they don't call Lucas on that. Foul against Barron. Yeah, now the whistles. Spartans only had two fouls that first half, and now with not even a minute to go here in the fourth, or, or in the second half, we got two fouls already. From downtown, Greenfield Central, rebound. Well, they fight for the pass. Yeah, they're going to call that. And that's going to be Greenfield Central ball. Just one of just smiling. As yeah, that he was... fought hard there for his moles. Greenfield Central will get the ball. Yeah, he, he can't win them every time, but Josh wins them most of the time. That's not good. I think he has passed it there to the bench for one of them to shoot it. Yeah, you know, one thing the Spartans had trouble with that first quarter was, you know, making the Greenfield Central Cougars pay on their mistakes. Started cleaning that up as the quarter went. Got to continue that upward trend here in the second half. Turnover against the Spartans. Rome out to Moles. Moles from downtown. No good. Rebound Williams. Yeah, if we can get them into one and done. Good for Central being a little bit more aggressive defensively. Myers from downtown. He shoots. Nope. No good. 
Nearly okay. picked up there by Brown on the rebound. Nice spin move. There's ball from, from three-point range. Nice rebound there from Gage Brown. Caleb's going to come back in after getting a 30-second breather. Brown, I going to shoot three. I thought he was, I mean, yeah, I don't think he shot one this year. He did he last year. Couple. Couple. Barron floats it. No uh, good. Ooh, right, ooh, that's Looking to get the put back. Yeah, he's going to go to the line. Yeah, it was nice. You know, put back there from Gage. Didn't quite get it, but right now I got to get these opportunities to. Yeah, sunk that first one. He gets his free throw, and his shooting from the free throw from the charity stripe has improved a lot this year. Yeah, his whole game has improved. Again, he he missed his sophomore year, and then you know came back, and and he, he, his whole game's improved. And that's beautiful to watch when you see a kid. You know, again, took a year off. It would have been nice to see him and his brother, Jacob, and then his cousin, uh, uh, Clay, you know, all three of them on the floor. But yeah, he liked to play tennis. Nice. Spartans ball here. His Williams looked to inbound. And yeah, he took that year off and came back. Last year, you could tell he was a little bit of a stubborn player, a little hesitant, but he's grown into a new role this year. Yeah, well, you know, and that, that the key word's grown. I mean, he grew all season long. We, you know, it was, it was it's beautiful to watch his the way that he transformed into the player he is now, and he's going to get better by the end of the season. Phillips. They're going to call that another held ball, and that's going to be the Spartan ball. Held yeah, ball. Toby might not have wanted to make that pass, as you see, you know, the, the guys battling in right there for the ball. Phillips inbound. Deep pass there to Williams all the way to the back corner. Yeah, that, that was very long. Bounce pass inside That's, to Myers. I, Myers he, he, he was one to foul, didn't get the call. Rolling. Yeah, that was beautiful That's defense. Great defense over Myers, like you said, able to put his hands up. Not getting blocking call, blocking foul called on him or the Sparks from downtown. He'll, they'll give him another shot on that. No, that's that's going to go on Braxton. Didn't see the foul, but, you know, those uh, are the was, was, was it? I didn't see it. Pick, yeah, yeah I, 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 <laughs> Bodwell will step out on the court. Yeah, Carter's fun to watch. You know, he's one of those players that, you know, I, I wish I could could have his energy. I mean, he, again, said it many times. He's 5'7", but uh, I, he never he doesn't know it. And neither does the, the guy he's defended. Brown guarding Moles. Jones. Out to Moles. Moles from the corner. He sinks it. And that's a nice shot. Five points for Moles. Phillips, top of the court. Goes the ball again. Looks like they're running a 3 2 zone defense here. Yeah, they've been running that a lot tonight. You know, has given the Spartans some some trouble, but they've out to Bobwell. Bobwell from the corner, left wide open. Yeah, he that's sinks it. it. Yeah, you leave that guy wide open, Mike. That from that corner, we've seen it all season long. He's deadly. You know, the only time Greenfield Central won you know, against the Spartans in the series was you know here. In the bowl, and they're gonna call Toby on that one. Collins Phillips. To reach it. First, just a little too aggressive. In the lineup for Greenfield Central, number four. It's gonna be Greenfield Central Ball as they'll look to inbound. Yeah, number 14, Tyler Kirkhoff. Because they're in the bonus now. Who's in the bonus? Greenfield Central. 
street out to Morris. Morris driving oh, inside, fades away. I mean, off that, the spin move. That was a nice move there from from Moles. I mean, the defense clogged up that middle, and he just stepped back and did that with a little bit of a fade. You know, if you take what you got, you got to make what you got. Baird. Oh, that's a charge. Good charge against Baird. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely Barron's not liking it. He's questioning it, of course, but yeah, it was a clear foul. He's been a little subbed out following that charge. Yeah, Barron has been kept silent so far this, Second this half. half. For sure. Smalls fades away again. No good. Yeah, I get no shots like that is what you definitely as James was wide open, nobody saw him down the floor. But Moles is hoping to drive a little closer and again good defense from the Spurs, not letting him get any closer to the basket than what he had that time. Now it's time to make him pay on that. Phillips out to Bodwell. Bodwell back to Phillips. So Baldwell being a ball dominant guard here. A song burger from three point land, no good. Yeah, you know, like I said, Baldwell was the ball dominant guard there on that possession, running the point position for the Spartans on that play. Ball rattles around as Bills able to snag it up. Bills on the break at the song burger. Song burger. Oh, puts beautiful. Hop inside. Oh. James, James gets it. Now puts it back for the that was nice. Again, Solomon Barger went inside and had the bigs around him and was hoping he'd get the call. And James right there cleaning it up. You know, and I like the way Solomon Barger just didn't hesitate to go up on that. You know, you like to see that. After a miss there right before that possession, I, it's nice to see the confidence still there. So, you always love to see that. Did he step out? Yeah, step out of bounds. Step out of bounds, yeah, yes. That right there is, you know, Toby Billups forcing the uh, step out of bounds. As the general is going to bring this up this time. Phillips, guarded by Street. Saul Martin. No one there. Spartans will turn it over. I think you were seeing Bobwell over there. Didn't see the cut. As James and Luke smile at that, you know, hey, it happens. Balls out the street, street from downtown. Yeah, that was a street nice from shot. The streets. Straight from the streets. 35 25 is the score. We're right back after this 30 second timeout. Or break. To eat in Connorsville is Mancino's Pizza and Grinders, 303 West 30th Street. Dine inside or carry out at home or where you work. Delivery from Mancino's is always free. The number to call 825 6155. Choose from a large menu and there is a special youngsters menu. Choose the house specialty, the great Spartan classic. Enjoy the sports atmosphere by viewing all the Spartan sports memorabilia. Mancino's Pizza and Grinders, 303 West 30th Street. Phone number 825-6155. A proud Spartan booster. Spartans up 10 as we get ready to head here into the fourth quarter. As the Spartans are up 10, 35 to 25, 58 seconds to go. We look at the performance they've had here, a little bit of a slower performance here in this second half. Yeah, but we're, we're, you know, again, playing our type of ball. We've scored six, seven, eight, nine, ten points so far. Uh, they have scored eight. So, you know, I mean, it's, you know, as long as we keep this lead, obviously it's going to be a, a victory for us. But, you know, again, a little bit of mistakes kicking in, you know, some bad passes. Uh, you know, again, those are the things that Kerry talks about. You know, just because we're number one doesn't mean we're perfect. We're going to be making mistakes. It's just... You know, glad that we're up 10. 
And the boys handle themselves very, very well. They don't get down on themselves. They, you know, they pick themselves up. They pick each other up when somebody makes a mistake. Luke had that bad pass, and and James was, you know, making him laugh. And so that that's a team. That's what teams do. Yeah, that's what teams do. Do is Billups has the ball, leading the floor for the Spartans as they look to get a last second shot here. You know, James handles the ball, or Josh handles the ball so beautifully. Wolves knock out the ball so they can get a last second shot. Yeah, they're going to have to go in, like, right now. Anytime they're in the paint, they're going to have to go all the way. Seven seconds remain. Williams slowly turns it over. Out the Sparks. Sparks from downtown to beat the buzzer. No good. Yeah, not the best shot for the Sparks, but we're up 10. Up 10, 35 to 25. We're going to take a quick minute break as we'll be right back. Wilson Lawson Myers Insurance Agency is dedicated to protecting you and your family at a price you can afford. Wilson Lawson Myers are licensed insurance professionals striving to be your agency of choice. Wilson Lawson Myers is an independent agency representing numerous companies for all your needs. Finding the right insurance begins with finding the right agency. That is Wilson Lawson Myers Insurance Agency at 521 Central Avenue in Connorsville. Phone 825-5111. Urban Winkler Funeral Home in Connorsville and Liberty is a family-owned funeral home. Urban Winkler Funeral Home considers it an honor to be selected to care for a family member at the time of a passing. The friendly staff at Urban Winkler Funeral Home pledges to care for all your family needs to the best of their ability. Two locations to serve you, in Connorsville at 513 West 8th Street and in Liberty at 310 North Main Street. Thirty-five to twenty-five is the score for the Spartans as they are up by ten. Spartans are going to take an even bigger lead here—a dominant win heading here into this fourth quarter, into the final quarter of the game. The Greenfield Central Cougars look to come back. Yeah, you know they got the firepower. I mean, tonight they have one, two, three, four, five threes, so they got fifteen of their twenty-five points from behind the line, and you know they're not done. No, they're looking to fight back indeed. Looking to punch us right back in the mouth. The Spartans have punched them in the mouth. Yeah. I mean, you know, they, they, you know what they got to do is they just got to take advantage of any miscue that the Spartans have. And they haven't done that tonight. And the Spartans have done a little bit better in that department than they have. And we've gotten the rebounds. Street. Off the rolling. Nice. Stolen there by Sparks. Sparks gets a deflection, picked off by Billups. Uh, Josh was open and Bill and Toby didn't see him. Phillips spins around, gives it deep. There James is Josh Williams. Phillips gets a drive. Williams down with it. Spartan Juma, that's a foul. A clear foul. He, he just threw. He just off. Yeah, that's only their shots. second foul. Yeah, it's only their second foul. So they're far away from the bonus. Williams. Or we're far away from the bonus. Okay, making a post up. He oh, beautiful move. Out. Wow, what a post move beautiful inside. Yeah. Get Baron 15 on the night. Yeah, that was a beautiful move. And you know, again, no hesitation. Kirkhoff steps back. Moles, they're going to slow down the play. You know, we've said this many times that, you know, this defense that the Spartans have uh, definitely forces a team to eat the clock when they don't want to eat it. Like right there, I mean, just to get the intensity of the defense. It doesn't seem like we're more intense than what we are, but the intensity of the defense is definitely putting the pressure on Greenfield Citra right here. So able to get the turnover. Ben was looking at his hand as he may have tweaked it. Phillips floats it in. Oh, wow. Rebound oh, nice. Williams. Tight. Yeah. Barron looks to drive yet again. He does just that. No good, though. This is going to be a call against Greenfield Central. 
Yeah, that's Moses. He did. Moses. Yeah, only three four three fouls for Greenfield Central. Josh Murray's laying down at the Sparks. His builds, drives, hops. Looks like he takes hard falls. He's bad. Yeah, Toby knew he was going to get hit right there, and you see him coming in and not hesitating at all. Was hoping that he'd be able to get the bucket along with it. You saw Toby Phillips had 10 free throws the other night against South Dearborn. Only missing one of those 10 for 11 that night. Bills on the free throw attempt. He gets it to go in for him. He's an 82% free throw shoot on the season. 100% tonight. Yeah, that's all that matters. You know, no matter what your free throw percentage is when you're at the line, you better be a, at 100%. When you're when you're off them, when you get done from the line, that's off. 50% of the night for Billups from the free throw line. Well, you know, as many times we've been to the class tonight, we've only been to the line. That's the second time, you know. Gage earlier in this uh, first half, and then Toby right there, so we've only had four shots with three for four. Mullins out the street. It's picked off there by James. Again, you know, it seems like we saw this during the Richmond game where our defense picked it up and was, you know, stole it a lot more. Toby's going all the way. Course. Blocked off the glass by Street as Williams is able to pick it back up. Williams yeah, that fighting was, hard on the glass. Yeah, that was Williams and Lucas there keeping that alive. Josh is going all the way. Josh Williams all the way inside. He gets a drop in. Five in the night for Josh Williams. The nine point per game score. Yeah, that was that was nice. Toby went all the way and didn't come away with it, but Lucas and James kept that alive. Bulls, hops, oh, that's nice. in. That was nice for Bulls. Nine for Moles. Josh Williams looks to get the foul. It'll be a foul against 10, Rowland. Is this third? Rowland will step out as well as Kirkhoff. Yeah. Anderson and Jones yeah. stepped in. This last couple of minutes, they've they've been fouling. Yeah, we're both two away from the bonus. Lester steps in as well. Good on the Sparks. Josh Williams oh, inside that's to his brother. To his brother, yeah. Between beautiful. connection. Yeah, they've done that many times. Probably over at Grandma and Grandpa's house against Uncle Matt. You know, in their backyard. Oh, that's beautiful. Followed by Bills. Bills all the way. Looks to lay it up. Easy pass there for Bills. 44 to 27. Spartans break away. Five for Bills. Yeah, again, the defense. You know, again, these boys, you know, it's, it's, it's like Kerry Brown. He he, he looks Bulls. the same no matter what. The defense, Rebound. they look the same. Oh, that's not good. Oh, able beautiful. to fight for it. Barron looking to get the foul. Yeah, and that's what I love about that. That was beautiful where not, not the best of passes, but Lucas made the most of it. And though he didn't get the kiss off the glass, has an opportunity for two at the line. You got to love what you see on that. And we'll go to the line as we saw he missed his first free throw earlier this game. So it's the same this one. He does. I'm sorry, he missed his second free throw earlier in the game. Who was that? Ben. Oh, did, did he miss a free throw earlier? He did, yeah. Okay, he then missed, we're, he yeah. missed his second free throw. He's been on his second attempt of this possession. 17 for him. What a score. What a score. But you know, again, what I'm impressed with is that. You, know, you can see a team get get fired up and get the intensity you can see in their eyes. These boys are as they're, they're as calm, cool, and collected as Carrie Brown is. They just know how to amp it up. They never panic. And that's is that Lucas? Oh no, Toby. Toby's talking to to Moles on that. Greenfield central possession here is no inbound. Inbound to James Harnett. Jones with the ball. Anderson. Moles contested. Shoots right in the eyes of Ben. Oh, that's what it's picked up there by Sparks. 
What you see Carpenter Jones right there get real high. I thought his head was going to hit the realm. Phillips able to find his way inside. Beautiful. Oh. Oh, oh, that was unprepared on the putback. Great timing there on the glass. That was beautiful. One-handed right there. Fluent motion. Tips it right back in. That Give him 19 on the night. Well, give him an ESPN thing on that one. That was beautiful. Wise words there from Long Riley. Give him an ESPN thing. Yeah. And there's a timeout. 48 to 27 is the score. 305 to go in this first run. Be right back after this break. Are you thinking about buying or selling your home? Stay local and call Trish Smith at Better Homes and Gardens First Realty Group. She will walk you through the process to make an easy transition and lead you to your dream home. Please contact Trish at 265-2663 to begin your journey today. Five to go here in the final quarter of the game. Spartans picking up, picking up the slack here in this fourth quarter. Yeah, I mean this game was close, and again the intensity picks up from the Spartans. And you know we've talked about it and talked about it and talked about it. And something we're going to be talking about for all season long is that you know the Spartans you know make adjustments uh, during the game, and, and they do. Uh, you know, they make, they make teams pay for their mistakes. In the last two games against Richmond and here Greenfield, Greenfield Central, their defense has just, you know, has picked up late in the game, and that's caused us to pull away by 21. Williams, Phillips. Phillips is a drive. Found himself wide oh, open away as he bounces in. Yeah. Brown, his ground lays it up. You know, Gage missed a dunk earlier in the season, and Hope that hasn't scared him to go try it again. That would have been a great opportunity. And now getting more guys in there. Sparks able to put up 15 here in this fourth quarter. Quite impressive as there's still two minutes to go. Yeah, they're gonna call Gage on that. You're right, very impressive. There was a team, I forget which team, I just read it today, scored 47 points in the fourth quarter as the most and second most. And, and so I thought, geez, you know, 47 points, that's a lot. That's not the most. No, a team scored 72 points in one quarter. That's amazing. That's the other yeah, team that's played defense. Think, that's even humanly possible. Yeah, I don't know how that's possible, but they did. That's what he said. Jones at the line, sinks it. Jones is a, is a fun player to watch, you know. He's been all over the floor. Jones on his second attempt. Sinks it as well. That's six for Jones. You know, a team that scores 58 points a game, 29, half of what they normally score. It's got to be deflating. To oh, that's beautiful. He so was wanting a time foul. Time. I think yeah, Toby was looking at the guy in stripes to ask him why there wasn't a whistle on that. Goals makes his way back because it was a five to four, five to four possession there. Toby's still talking to the guy in stripes, wondering why he wasn't wasn't called. That looks like a foul to me. Downtown sinks it. The back that's able to sink it there from Greenfield Central Cougars. Yeah, I don't have him on my on my number 21. Is that Ian Jack? I didn't have him on. Caldwell nearly loses it. So he recovers and gives it to Bellops. Bellops crosses looks to cross up Jack. Phillips inside, gets the and one. Beautiful, now he gets the and one. He was one to call last time. You know what I love about, you know, he goes that left side. Yeah, that's going to be on. Was that was Bryce, that's a different, not Ian Jack. It's, I don't have him on our roster at all. Bryce Kinnaman, Bryce Kinnaman. 
is number 21. Oh, Jeremy Jurgensen's coming in. And the faithful is going crazy for Jeremy. Or no, that's Hornsby. And Jurgensen. Hornsby, Naylor. Jurgensen will check in with the final minute of play here is Myers and Sombarger and Broadwell are in as well. Or sorry, Naylor in for Myers. Myers is checked out. Well, it's nice to see Jurgensen get in there. It's nice to see Hornsby and it's nice to see. Well, Hornsby Naylor in, there in there against Richmond in the JV game had 30 points. Again. Yeah, yeah, had 30 points. Yeah. Nice to see Naylor in there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's a definite foul. Um, Naylor is throwing. Naylor picks up the foul there. Freeman will go to the line for the, for the Greenfield Central Cougars. Freeman, that was round, picked up there by Naylor. Yeah, boy, the faith will go crazy if Jurgensen or Hornsby scores. Or Naylor as well. Or Na yeah, Naylor. Yeah, yeah. Naylor had an opportunity not to win one of the games. That... Solberger drives. Out to Naylor. Naylor hesitant. And they just run out the clock here. They they're calling for to Jurgensen shoot. to shoot. Yeah, they wanted him to shoot. You know, and, and yes, you want uh, that's a foul. The Carter's going to the line. Yeah, yeah that's foul Bodwell, which is really hard to understand why you foul here when you're down 21. Right. So, yeah, I mean, exactly. It's not going to be any closer. Of, well, it's going to be a closer game, but not any closer of a game if you foul us into the line. But whatever floats your boat. Yeah, yeah, that's give Carter an opportunity to score another one. Yeah, it's nice. Bodwell has four on the night. Yeah, it's nice when you see the the cheer block, you know, cheer for their their classmates. Bodwell in the second That's attempt, beautiful. he seems at five. Uh, Bodwell, yeah, he's been fun to watch his career. I mean, that kid. I mean, he took a fall his sophomore year where Jack drove, where I could have swore his leg got snapped in half, and it didn't. Foul against Jurgensen there. Oh, yeah, cheer block going low. They love it. Freeman. Or Jack, sorry. Yeah, that's going to be on 32. It should be. That'll be Freeman. 32 it's was Freeman. Oh, wait a minute, what happened? Did they call? I didn't know how they called Hornsby on that. That's crazy. Freeman 0 for 2 from the line. The Greenfield Central is in the double bonus. Yeah. He's able to go 1 for 3. Bob Yeah, boy, 21 for Table Kinnaman. He's playing like, you know, they have a chance to win. I mean, you, you like that. I like that. It's fine for some minutes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, you know, the faithful here, especially the chair block, would love to see one of the guys score. And, oh, it went off. Jorgensen not able to get the ball. Yeah. So yeah, you know, the pass. you know, these kids are on the floor. They may not get... Uh, you know, a lot of time that they want, but they're on the floor of the bowl. As the clock runs down, the Spartans looking at 8 0 in the season, able to recover after last year. They were 7 0 against Greenfield Central. Last time they were 7 0 against them, they, were they took a loss. And now they continue their win streak of 8. Very good game. Yeah, very good game for the Spartans. Let the bells ring as the Spartans stay number one in the power rankings for Class 3A. Yeah, you know, and, and they, they've earned it uh, this season. They've played very hard. You know, this is a complete team. 
a wonderful victory. They got a lot of games coming up here during this break. They got that tournament with some good teams, Bloomington South, and I forget the other team. And then, of course, the big one at the Hall of Fame Classic. You know, number one ranking means nothing when it comes to these tournaments that are coming up. Rob, let's take a look at the scoring. Yeah, for the uh, Greenfield uh, Central Cougars, they were led by Dylan Moles, nine points. Thought he had more than that, but he only had nine. Owen Anderson chipped in two. Rash Rashawn Street, three. Joey Rowland, five. Tyler Kirkhoff with three. Br uh, Braylon Mullins, three. Uh, Rune Carpenter Jones, he had six. Dallas Freeman, one. And Bryce uh, Kinneman had three points for the Greenfield Central Cougars. For the Conference of Spartans, they were led by Lucas Barron, 19 points. Toby Billups had eight late there in the fourth quarter. Josh Williams, five. Caleb Sparks, six. Braxton Myers, four. Carter Bodwell, five. James Williams, four. Gage Brown, four for the Connors with Spartans. Very nice victory for the Connors with Spartans. You would have never known that these kids were so excited about being number one. They just took care of business like always. There's a cleanup on the glass for the Spartans tonight. That's really where they got all their points is the cleanup. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and also, too, they were able to force Greenfield Central to make some, some contested shots. Nobody under the glass. They took advantage of it. Cleaned up their mistakes. Uh, later on in the game, they improved as the game went on. Yeah, they really did improve. Uh, Gage Brown, not having a lot of points for the past few nights, has had a lot of points for the Spartans. I mean, eight, ten. And then tonight, four, I believe, is what you yeah, said? Yeah, just four points. But, again, his defense, uh, as well as the Spartans all overall, his defense was, was very, very good. Yeah, his defense was amazing. And we saw early in the first, whatever, or early in the second, or late in the second, sorry, whenever Phil Central had a chance to beat the buzzer. And this oh, Gage yeah, Brown and Pablo were able to switch yeah. off and it was beautiful. really play good communicating defense there. Yeah, it was very good defense. We saw it. I mean, again, you know, we're, we're out of the – now we've got two two big tournaments coming up that's going to test uh, who we are, especially that Hall of Fame Classic. Yeah, sitting in the Christmas break tournament this Thursday, the New Year's – New Year's Eve, what am I thinking? Christmas Eve Eve. Yeah. And then New you Year's have Eve the Hall of Fame. Yeah, New Year's Eve Eve is the Hall of Fame tournament. Yeah, and that that's that's incredible with the teams that they have in that tournament. Uh, it's, it's fun to be invited. It's a respect – uh, thing for the Connors with Spartans. They are respected, and that's why they were invited to that Hall of Fame Classic. Well, Spartans say, you know, on the season, I'm Nathan Shaw, Ron Miley, TV3, we thank you for joining us tonight as Spartans stay number one.